Hi there. My friend Laurie in New Mexico sent me two beautiful pieces of embossed metal tape. Um, it is a thin tape that she's embossed and it's still got the backing on. And I thought I would show her what I'm going to do with it. So for the one piece, I'm going to color it with my Sharpie. I'm just going to partially color it because I want to show you the before and after. Often we get happy mails and we just don't ever show anyone what we do with their happy mails. So I thought this would be a great idea. So I've partially colored it. I'm going to wait a few secs for it to dry <coughs> and then I'm going to buff it. But in the meantime, I've got a tag. Now, as you can see, this piece of embossed metal tape is just a fraction smaller than the tag. But no worries, we always make a plan. So all I'm going to do is take a piece of tape that I have here. Oh my word, lost my tool on the table. And I'm literally going to just, if I can find the backing. Today I'm just butterfingers. My word, you see it happens to the best of us. Can't get the backing off today. Now what I'm going to do is stick a strip across the top of this tag. And credit card to flatten it. Really good. And now in the meantime, we're going to buff this with a nail buff sanding block, whatever you want to call it. When you're working with the thin tape, it's always best to walk, work towards the edges. You can see I'm not walk, working this way. Walking. She was. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I can't even see. There you go. That's why. Now I'm going to lift it up for you to see the difference. No ink and ink. And don't you agree that the ink just pops? I'm not going to color that little piece in now. So it looks the same. There you go. Give it a sec. In the meantime, I'm going to cut the edges of this while that dries. Go. Please excuse my dirty hands, but I've been making tags today. Oh my word, I'm doing what I shouldn't do, but I'm glad it happened so you can see how easy it is to bend the thin tape. So now I've really techniqued the whole thing with the black sharpie and I love it. And all I'm going to do is remove the backing. It's so much easier to remove the backing once you've actually um, embossed it. Put it through your embossing folder or your embossing machine. Um, much easier to work with. And then I'm just going to place it. Let's just see. Should I? Yeah, the clock is 12. 6 is there. So let's make sure that it is. I'm going to put it here. Cool. And then trim here. Ta-da! What do you think? Cute little tag. Just to finish it off, I'm going to take my card and only on the edges I'm going to just smooth it because remember your embossing is a little bit raised and I just want to get it stuck 
I don't want to really flatten the embossing that's been done, but I do want to technique it just a little bit. Paper stump around there. And just to add a bit of interest, I'm going to just technique the top so that it's not all shiny. Just drawing some lines, working always towards the edge. Towards the edge. see that I have I'm not sure if you can there you go that I have scribbled some lines there and now I'm going to color that section done giving giving it a sec very wet and very dirty hands but while I'm waiting for that to dry I'll just show you a few of the little tags that I made today I did the fairy I did this one flowers which I've done in another video clip I did the owl and I did a lovely doily it was a partial doily that I had and then this one I did because we all thinking about the Ukraine and their national flower is a sunflower and the color of their flag is blue and yellow. So that was my, my prayer to the Ukraine today. Okay, buff this off. Give it a wipe. And isn't that tag lovely? So thank you, Laurie, for sending me a little piece of your metal tape. Really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy this video.